Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be sharing a few different styling ideas for your entryway for fall. Whether you're looking for something a little bit more functional or decorative, I'm hopeful that you will find some decorating inspiration in today's video. Make sure that you leave me a comment down below and let me know which is your favorite because I'm not 100% sure which way I'm gonna stick with. So if you're looking for these design ideas and decorating ideas for your entryway, then please keep on watching. First, let me show you my entryway. So I have an actual entryway in this home and it's a pretty narrow space, but I can fit a little bit larger of a table and I mostly just have this mirror and this console table and my vase and my lamp are my staple pieces. So let's see how we can style this space for fall. I'm starting with these stems that are from Hearth and Hand. Of course, I love them. Um, I am very partial to this color. I just, there's something about it that just draws it to me. So I'm going to see if I like how these stems work in this space. My tip for you when you are styling stems is to play around with the different heights, bend the stems to get to the desired height that you are looking for. Make sure that you fluff out the stems and bend them to where they're kind of facing downward, which is what flowers would naturally do. They're naturally going to droop a little bit. So that helps to make them look a little bit more realistic. If you've already watched some of my videos from this year, you'll notice that some things are repeats. This stack book set is one of them, as well as this woven pumpkin. These are actually items that I originally had in my entryway before I styled them on my shelves. If you did miss that video, that was my most recent upload and you can find it in the cards or you can find it linked below in my fall playlist. Let's move down to the bottom. I haven't, this is a very narrow table, so it's not the size that I'd prefer, but we're gonna work with what we have for the moment. So I just have this little basket that I got from Home Goods a few years ago, and then this beautiful plaid throw blanket. It's very thin, and it's really just, I think, works perfectly hanging out of a basket. I also have a pumpkin pillow. I don't really use pumpkins on my pillows anymore but I think they're really great if you want to style them in this way or maybe on a bench and I think this looks wonderful <laughs> I like this uh, way this turned out So that was the first option for styling your entryway. And now I'm going to add this acorn that's from Kirkland's. I think it's a good option if you don't want to overdo it with pumpkins. Maybe you just want something different. Um, for me, acorns is something different. <laughs> and I just want to see how things work if I just switch that out. I think those colors are a little bit too similar. And so maybe that's not going to work for me right now. So I added this leaf, it's a leaf, <laughs> it's like a tray, it's gold and I've seen other versions of this. Now this one is the larger size, it's also from Kirkland's, it does come in a smaller size and I actually wanted the smaller size but when I did go back to get it, they didn't have it in my store that I was at. Um, but it would be great to, if you need to lay your keys down or something like that. And then this little black pot is from Home Goods, and if you missed my living room styling video you'll see that i do love these stems and i just really wanted to use them in some kind of way but it didn't quite work out here um, so i'm going to switch them out for these other florals that i have from michael's that are very messy but i think worth it and i really wish that i had more colors but um, maybe i can see if i can snag some after the season and when they go on clearance
let's call that version two. And so now I'm gonna take some of these options off just to make it a little bit more streamlined. And I'm gonna stack a couple of books. And just like I was saying with the tray where it could be good for keeping keys or your wallet or anything like that, then you can use a basket such as this to do the same thing. So to keep it a functional option for you. Now let's move that because I wasn't loving the two florals opposing each other in that way. I love this framed art. And so I think that would be really nice if you want to just add a little bit of height without doing a floral or doing a lamp and you can add other little pieces that can go alongside it. So this would be version, is this three? I'm already losing count, I'm so sorry. <laughs> For version four, I thought it would be nice to add this sign. This copper sign is from Hobby Lobby. It's been around for years. And I still want to use this pot with these florals. And don't mind the tags. I will take those tags off when I am 100% sure how I want to use them. It's just such a messy floral to deal with. I just don't want to take the tags off until I'm sure. I thought that maybe adding the lamp would work, but I feel like the heights are way too different to really work. If I had a shorter lamp, then maybe that would work out better. Or maybe one that was a little bit more stout. This one's so slim. So I'm going to add another black vase. This one is from Target. And again, I'm gonna to try to use these stems that I love so much. I'm just trying to make it work. <laughs> and then this little candle, this pumpkin candle, honestly is fine as it was, but if you just wanna add a little something in the center, that's what I was thinking right here. So this is version number four. Now for the fifth option, you guys, I can't quit this vase. I love this vase and this pretty much is where it lives. So we're gonna start back with this vase with the same floral arrangement. And I'm going to use the acorn just because I'm trying to be a little bit out of the pumpkin box. My lamp is gonna go back. Although you guys, to be honest, we don't ever use this lamp in this entryway. <laughs> we barely ever have any lights on in the entryway, but anyway. <laughs> So I'm gonna add the leaf tray back and the candle. This may be a little bit too much, but I'm not 100% sure how I want this to be. We'll see. You'll have to let me know. Because this entryway table is so narrow, I'm limited by what I can actually use down here. Many of the baskets that I have are too large for the space as far as they, they, they come over the edges a little bit too much for my liking. So let's try adding the art down here and then a lantern. And it would be really great if I could get a good candle to go in there, but you know, we'll work with what we have. And then just to add some height, oh my gosh, something's flying. <laughs> just to add some height, um, this candle, this candle, excuse me, this pumpkin, which I love the size of this pumpkin. And Target has one that's not so similar, but I think would work really great in this space, but I just don't need any more pumpkins, so I did not get it. And then if you still wanna have the blanket, you can have that off to the side.
Don't forget to let me know which of the five options were your favorite. I'm still not 100% sure which way I'm going to go. I don't like it too cluttered, but I don't want it too simple. I want something just right. So let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. And thank you so much for watching today's video and spending some time with me today. I hope you found this video helpful to give you some decorating ideas and inspiration. That's why I love to share with you. And make sure you like and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.